Hey guys, Chris here with the Good Old Gamer. Welcome to the first GPC test that we are doing. We are comparing architectures like for like, clock for clock, core for core, to see what improvements we've been getting over time from both AMD and Nvidia. This video is brought to you by our patrons. Their support really helped us get this tech on hands and helps us do videos like this. Thank you to all of our patrons for their support. And if you guys would like to help support us as well, Please check out our Patreon page and please consider becoming a patron yourself. So the first one I wanted to do was Maxwell versus Pascal. There are other videos and other evidence out there that do prove that Maxwell and Pascal are identical across the board and that there's no significant or actually really no architectural changes that affect performance at all. So they're basically identical. Now this is just taking other people's words for it so I wanted to go ahead and test this for myself and to give you guys definitive proof whether or not that this is true. To do this, I went ahead and used the GTX 950 and the GTX 1050 Ti. Both of these have 768 uh, CUDA cores or FP32 shader cores, and I clocked both of them at seven gigahertz memory. They're both using a 128-bit memory bus, so they have the exact same memory bandwidth, and this also equates out to being that they have the exact same to overall compute performance at 2.1 teraflops. So this is a like for like, one for one comparison that we're going to be doing. Now you can go ahead and check in the description below for the test system, so this way you can see that they run on the identical test system, that'd be my Ryzen test bench right here. Both GPUs, because of the RAM difference, the 1050 Ti using four gigabytes and the 950 only having two gigabytes, game settings were lowered to use no more than two gigabytes of VRAM, so this way that is not a limitation. All tests were run at 1080p, which for these cards led to no bottlenecking, no CPU bottlenecking whatsoever. They were both under 100% GPU load throughout the entire test. So there's no skewing, no scaling here. This is a like for like, one for one test. So let's go ahead and roll those benchmarks. Now, as you notice, there's a little bit of variation. There were some differences between some benchmarks, but that's just the variation between doing benchmark runs. Now, of course, I do three runs and then I average them up, uh, and those were the averages that I happened to come up with, but that's still not going to eliminate just normal variables. 
But once we look at the overall 13 test suite average, they came up exactly identical. So this proves what we all pretty much already knew, but this is definitive evidence that both Maxwell and Pascal are the exact same architecture, and whatever changes that they did to Pascal does not affect gaming performance whatsoever. All the optimizations in that architecture obviously just went to achieving higher clock speeds and lowering TDP. So, I mean, there are some benefits to Pascal over Maxwell, but at the end of the day, if you have a Maxwell-based GPU going to Pascal, there's very little difference unless you're going for like a top-tier GPU that's just simply not available at the Maxwell level. Or if you need something that runs at much lower uh, TDP, draws less power, and generates less heat, there are some advantages there. Now, the reason why this is important is there's a lot of people out there spreading misinformation saying that, oh, you know, Pascal's so much better and nobody saw it coming. Everybody should have seen this coming. It's the exact same thing as Maxwell. And Maxwell launched all the way back in the middle of February 2014. So this has been around for a while. And honestly, I don't think Volta is going to change things much, not from what we've seen. But we will check that out once that does come out. These tests will continue. I will go ahead and compare NVIDIA to AMD and see it, what are the differences when they're like for like, clock for clock, core for core, or teraflop for teraflop, depending on which way you want to look at it, because it all kind of comes out to being the same. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of check and see where the architectures line up. I'm going to go ahead and use Maxwell as the baseline moving forward. So on the charts, that's going to show up as a zero. So Pascal and Maxwell are both identical, meaning if I'm comparing an architecture to a Maxwell card, I may do that because Maxwell can clock lower easier. So for something like, uh, you know, a first or second gen GCN architecture, those don't clock nearly as high as a Pascal card. You can take those same percentage gains and just apply them towards Pascal as well. There's really no difference there. Now, I know this particular benchmark isn't super exciting. This is information a lot of us knew, but now you have definitive evidence of it. And in the future, like I said, I'm going to compare GCN to uh, both Maxwell, and I'm also going to bring Kepler into this, and we'll see how that stacks up. How much better was Maxwell over Kepler? Because that seemed to be a very huge increase in uh, GPC performance that we just haven't seen regularly and something that AMD is still trying to catch up with. Hopefully they can with their NCUs, but we will check that out in a future video. Once again, thank you to all of our patrons for helping support this channel and getting this tech on hand so we can do videos like this. Well, Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button if you like it. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please share with friends. That really helps us out as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video.